Hi everyone, it's Colleen. Um, <clears throat> you know, I, I made a couple of posts this week and I just wanted to, to share kind of my overall, sum up my view of this week <laughs> and where I'm at. Um, excuses, right? We all have them. And the thing is with excuses are, I would refer to excuses as, you know, they're well-planned lies. They are the lies that, that keep us in our comfort zone, basically. You know, there's a lot of things in life that, you know, it's like, and here's the thing, you know, when you're an adult, right? It's the whole, I don't feel like it. Well, you know, that's, you know, even though you know you need to do it, you're always like, ah, I don't feel like it right now. And you know, that is like the sum of my week. Do you know what I mean? It really has been. Ever since I got back from being at home, it's really, that's really been my week. It's just been, you know what? I don't want to. I don't want to. I just don't want to. Right? Um, that's not, um, it's not very adult of me, if you know what I mean. But, um, there's a lot of excuses we tell ourselves and we do it all the time. I'm, I'm no better than anybody else. Cause I, I, I can come up with a ton of excuses and I, and I have in the past, I know I have, but there's really two types of excuses that we all use. And one of them are the internal excuses and the internal excuses are these ones up here. They're all in your head, all up in your head, right? They're the ones where you're like, uh, I'm never going to be skinny. I'm never meant to be skinny. You know, I'm, uh, I've always been a quitter, so I'll probably just quit this. So there's no point in really starting. Um, you know, everyone, why is, everyone else has seen results and I'm not. So there must be something wrong with me or I'm never going to look like her or I'm never going to be a good enough coach like them. That's one of mine anyway, but maybe not yours, but mine. But you know, it's like, Here's the thing that I'm learning, and, th and that's the thing, you know, you have to learn about and grow as a person in life and, you know, your personal development, your faith, whatever it may be, uh, you need to become more aware of what you're telling yourself up here in your head. You need to become aware of it. And when you do become aware of it and start to pinpoint those triggers for you when you start making those excuses, then, then you really can start to create that change and really start to change your way of thinking. Okay, so I know I'm having a tough week this week. I, I know I am. And I know I just need to get up and press play and get back into the routine of things. I'm just dragging my butt with it. But I'll get there. I know I'll get there because I know that's what I'm doing and it's all up here in my head. It really is. There's nothing else stopping me. It's just all in my head. It really is. And then there's other excuses that we have are those external excuses. And those external excuses are the ones where it's like, eh, I'm too busy. Or, you know, I'm so busy at work and when I time I get home, I'm so busy with the kids running around, I just don't have time for that. Okay. Or it's, um, you know, my family doesn't really um, give, allow me the time to, um, to, to do anything like that. Okay. Or it's, um, my family doesn't really support me in doing this. Or my family wouldn't really encourage me to do that. Or how about, um, I can't afford to eat healthy. Okay. So those excuses, those are the external ones that we tell ourselves, you know, those are the ones that really, um, we convince ourselves of those, right? Cause they can be pretty convincing. They can be, because if you say it over and over and over enough times, you believe it. Well, this is my face. I'm not convinced. I'm not, and I'll tell you why I'm not convinced. Because like I said before, we are all adults. And we are actually in complete control of every single circumstance that happens to us. 
think about it. We are in control, which means we have the right to say, hey, wait a second. I can do this if I want to. I just maybe have to rearrange some things, but it will work. And if you do it enough times, it'll fit into your schedule and it'll be like you always did it, right? But <clears throat> that's the thing in life, right? That we can become so scared of change that we, one, maybe don't know how, so we create those excuses because it keeps us in our comfort zone and then we don't have to put ourselves out there. And then you don't have to do your internal excuses where you think, oh, you know, I'm, I'm just going to end up quitting because I've always quit in the past. So you don't bother trying. That's the, um, and that's the thing. Like you just, that's what's going to set you back in life, those excuses. If you can't push past them and get past those excuses, you're never going to create that change. And it always comes down to this. If you want it, if you want to change like you say you want to change, and everybody said it in their lives, I've had those moments in my life where I thought to myself, why me? Why can't this be different? Why can't I do something else? But guess what? You can. It's up to you. Because we always make things happen that we want to happen. So if you really do want to change, then you'll find a way to make it happen. And if you don't want to change, then you'll find a way not to make it happen. That's just the way it is. That's the way life is. So, you know, <clears throat> my message really is, is that it's excuses in life that are going to hold us back from what we really want. Sometimes you just have to stop and think to yourself, you know, is what you're saying really a valid excuse? Or you, can you become more aware of that, of what you're saying, and come to realize that you are in control of that situation and only you can change that situation? So in saying that, it's only me who's in charge of my situation right now, and it's only me who's holding me back. So I've already made the commitment to myself, but I've made the commitment to my challengers and my group and everyone else. On Monday morning, we start a new round, and I'll be back at it, just like I always am. And I'll be back at it even better than I was before. Because if you haven't really noticed, I do tell this self to myself every now and then. Yeah, I'm a bit of a badass. It's okay. So, listen, if you can't laugh at yourself, then I don't know. I, I don't know. So, Monday morning, I'll be back at it. This time, we'll be going straight through to Christmas. I can't wait. I'm super excited for this group. And I've decided to hold myself accountable this time because I'm going to make, make this commitment to you that I'm going to videotape my little journey over this next month up till Christmas. And uh, so that should be exciting. So stay tuned and let's see if I make it. Have a good night, guys.